If you are new to video editing, I understand perfectly well that the whole process can annoy you and sometimes upset you. And every time you sit down to edit, it becomes kind of scary and unclear where to start. But what if I tell you that the editing process can become your most favorite and enjoyable process? In this video, I will show you simple steps in editing any video that will make your process much more pleasant, easier, and most importantly, more efficient. My name is Arthur Weiner. This is the Mobile vlog, and let's go. And it's worth saying right away that the editing process is quite an individual thing. And as you evolve, I recommend you to look at other editors, how they edit. This will help you collect the best from everyone and ultimately make your process even more efficient. But in this video, I wanna give you steps for everyone, as well as some of my individual tips on how I edit my videos in the Movavi Video Editor Plus. And the first thing I want you to integrate into a video editing process is the files organization. So even before you open the program. Today I'm editing on the M1 MacBook Pro, but it may be a PC in your case, it doesn't matter at all. On the contrary, we constantly say that an average computer is enough for editing in Movavi. Create a folder and give it a name. I recommend starting with numbers, so 01 or 001. In this case, all future folders will go one after another, and you will quickly remember where the folder with the desired video is located. Then space and the title of the video. Right after, you can add a date. This is convenient if you have a lot of videos and in order not to click on each folder separately to see the date, it is better to write it down right here in the folder's name. Open up this folder and create another folder inside with the name A-Roll. We've already been through this with you. A-Roll is your main shots, your main storyline. On YouTube, it's basically talking head. Like what you're watching right now. I'm talking to the camera, it's A-Roll. So I insert my SD card into my laptop and drag my entire A-Roll right into this folder. A quick tip, when you record your text on camera, I recommend you to do it not in one big take, but in pieces. Because firstly, depending on your camera, it may overheat and this will damage your file. Or you may miss the moment when the camera has turned off. This is unpleasant. And the second reason is speed. While recording bad takes, you can mark them with some kind of a card. Then before editing, you can quickly go through all the shots and immediately delete the unsuccessful ones. It's much faster than cutting one big take. Next, if you have some B-roll that somehow explain or disclose the information set in A-roll, then add it to the B-roll folder. So all sorts of pictures, PNGs, videos, in general, different footage that go on top of A-roll can go into this folder. I already have some B-roll, but later in this video, I'll show you another way of adding B-roll and various elements directly in the Movavi Video Editor. After this organizing process, you can launch your editor. In my case, like I said, it's Movavi Video Editor Plus. But besides the editor itself, there's also Movavi Unlimited, which is, by the way, available on the Movavi Secret Sale. Movavi Unlimited is the unique annual plan that includes the best from Movavi in one intuitive platform. There are tools for video editing, like Movavi Video Editor Plus itself, photo retouch, screen recording apps and a set of utilities for work and study. On top of this, Movavi Unlimited gives you the one-year access to all the effects that Movavi FX Store has to offer. You won't lose much time on learning. Every step of the creation process from converting raw footage to adding effects to your video project might be done in just a few clicks. Movavi Unlimited will help you create high-quality content and make your ideas come true. Unlike professional software, Movavi Unlimited is accessible for many users. Its annual subscription plan includes 10 programs and a huge collection of effects at the price of just one app. And the best thing is that you won't need a top-of-the-line computer to make the platform run smoothly. The one-year subscription to Movavi Unlimited is now available at 85% off on the exclusive Movavi sale. Hit the link below to use this or any other special offer from our secret page. The next step is to import your footage and sort it out. And since we have created a separate folder, in the editor, click on this arrow, the Add Files button, and select Add Folder. Select a folder, and now all the files are imported. Select just the A-roll and drag it to the timeline. Now, here goes the process of creating a rough 
cut, and for this, we'll need a split tool. Every program has its own shortcuts to access this tool, and it's very important to know this because it speeds up the process a lot. In the Movavi video editor, it's Command or Control V. Now, I'm gonna go through these shots, cutting out all the mistakes, extra pauses, leaving only the parts I need. And when I record my talking head videos, almost always my best take is my last take. Even if it's a big video, I look at the audio waves, I look for the last big fat audio wave and immediately cut out all the short waves without wasting time listening to each one. For example, I have two similar audio waves. It's clear that these are two identical takes, so I just leave the last one. Speeds up the process so much. It also happens when you start recording something like this. And today I will, and today, <clears throat> and today, and today we're gonna be talking about video editing. You will see a lot of short waves and then the big one. So cut out the short ones right away. You don't need to listen to each one. And by default, we can cut out a shot and others automatically stick together, but you can change it. Click on this arrow here and now there will be a space left between the shots. Okay, I will go for the entire timeline and get my A roll done. So the A roll is ready, now it's time to add B roll. I have said a lot about what B roll is in the last two videos, so I will not repeat myself, but B-roll can be either yours or found online, so stock footage. I'm gonna select my B-roll, here it is, so I just need to click on this icon, click add a video track, and just drop it down to the timeline, but on the new track we've just created. You can also find a stock footage site and download as much as you want, but conveniently, the Mobavi video editor already has a built-in collection of shots, backgrounds, presets, and the most interesting thing, the effect sets. They are very cool because in addition to free ones, there are a lot of it in the effects store for almost any video style. I have these free sets downloaded now and the elements from these sets are automatically scattered into sections in the menu on the left. For example, these stock videos appeared in the sample videos section as well as backgrounds, filters, transitions, and text animations. And these sets are convenient because you don't need to exit the program, look for something online, everything works within the Movavi platform. It also happens that you downloaded a shot and there is an audio track, but you don't need it. To remove it, right-click, detach audio, and delete the audio track. In talking head videos, it's always useful to add a text that explains the words said in the video, so that a viewer not only listens to the video, but also reads directly from the screen. In Movavi, working with text animations is very easy. Just go to the text section, find a template you like, drop it down to the timeline, change the duration, and by double-clicking the text, you can change it, change the font, size, color, and so on. If you want to use Use this text from time to time, you can make a template. To do this, click New Template in the top menu, give a name, and click Save. After that, this template will appear in this section. You just need to drag it to the timeline. You can also click on this little pencil. A new timeline will open, and here you can make some changes to the template. After that, click Apply and Return. And when you've put together your A-roll, B-roll text animations, I want you to look at your edit again with a fresh mind. So. Take a short break, come back and watch again. Nine out of 10, you will find some more mistakes, type in errors, eliminate them, and only then you can proceed to the render. When I export my videos, I put them in the same folder so that everything is in one place. Sometimes it can be useful to create a separate folder for renders, but it's almost always better to keep everything in one folder. Now, settings. Make sure they do not conflict with your footage. What do I mean? If you were shooting at 24 frames per second, set 24 frames per second. If your bitrate was 50 megabits per second, then you don't need to set more than that. A miracle won't happen. Your footage won't get better. Sometimes it makes sense to lower the quality, but why shouldn't 4K if you know that your final video will be in 1080? This is not a movie. We don't need too much information in the image. Speed is our main priority. In general, these settings are enough for YouTube. MP4, H.264 from 16 to 25 megabits per second on full HD video. There's also an option to log into your YouTube account and upload videos directly from the Movavi editor. It saves a lot of time. So the editing process can be much easier and faster than it seems. All the necessary links are in the description and you can also click on one of the videos here that will help you become even better at video editing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.